welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm inside the new Fort Everest, and you should be too. Let's go. So now inside this Fort Everest, you are greeted by these awesome partial leather seats. Though they have the sport lettering on them. So now these seats are 8-way electronically adjustable. In the previous Everest, it was only the driver's side. But now, even as a passenger, I can get these awesome electronically adjustable seats. So moving on to the dashboard side of the car, you get partial leather also on the steering wheel with some touches of piano black here. Um, I love this steering wheel. It feels very light as you're driving and you're going to see that shortly. On here, we also have a digital um, driver's display. This thing is very cool and it has various modes that you can switch onto whenever you want to see something you can see your trips um, your off-road status your towing audio there's also navigation that you're able to see as you're driving um, with this car moving on in this car you also get a lot of storage that comes here so you can click that and you have this very small storage but you're able to put in um, things because it goes in far deep you close that and you come here and you get um, your usual glove box we go here um, you also have space to put your phone you can also charge your phone on the wireless charging pad there and you also get some space to put your fries as you're driving you also get your drinks um, compartments there and you come here this is a very huge space excuse my mandalas you also come in here and you get this huge space as well and there's a 12 volt power outlet in here in case you want to charge any device we also get this thing where you can put your drinks you can easily close it like that or open it just like that also you go up and you're greeted by this storage go for your glasses um, or whatever you call them yeah it's glasses mm, and whenever you don't have any middle passenger you can just pop this open and when it comes to the 12 inch display this is the new sync 4 it's a bit quick much quicker than i had expected and you can also type in addresses on here and you're going to get them like you're using google maps or um, apple maps uh, let's see if i can find burger king aha so now i found burger king and i can head there without using um, google maps or apple maps and what's also nice in this display is that you get your climate controls here but what i love um, and what i appreciate ford for doing is they still kept some of the controls analog even the volume is also oh, analog but whenever you want to control more stuff you can come to um, the digital here and it's fairly quick as well let's shut that off okay there's much more to this system but obviously you have to play around with it and when i come to sketch please subscribe to the channel for more of these videos thank you now say you've got kids and you're going on a trip you can easily pop these seats and you can make your way there now while i'm here this space is not enough for a grown adult it's mostly only for kids and it only sits two people you have kids but you have a lot of things you want to store in your storage and you can fold these seats to give yourself more space to store whatever you have now coming back into the back you are greeted with this um, led tail lights everything on here is full on leds um, and you also get this nice everest lettering this one is in chrome um, even though most of the badges on the spots are mostly blacked out uh, as you see here you have this sport blackout badge you also have the blackout 4x4 and something that manufacturers don't usually do is black out their own badges which Ford has done in this case finishing off um, in the back you also get your towing um, you can only tow up until 3.5 tons with this car uh, and you also get you know, your plug for your trailer and now we come onto the sides and you are greeted by these 28 tires um, these rims are also blacked out also with the ford logo it's also blacked out there and you get blacked out everything the roof rails are blacked out um, the handles are blacked out 
and your side mirror caps are also blacked out you have a bite table there blacked out your sport badges blacked out i think i'm tired of saying blacked out but coming on to the front you also have this Everest littering which is also blacked out the front grille is also blacked out including the huge Ford logo now my favorite feature on this car has to be the headlights these have this uh, new c-shaped um, LED lights these are the best feature for me on this car like the new design of the Everest is very good but these take the cup and I feel like they complete the whole design of this car. I can say multiple things that I love about this car because the new update is honestly very refreshing as compared to the old Everest. I just drove both and now it's time to just drive how the car drives. currently in the streets of Senten to test the urban driving of this car. Personally, I felt like um, it's a comfortable daily drivable car. Um, I was nicely able to maneuver the streets of Senten and I'm now nicely getting stopped by the cops. Hey, that was a, that was Hey, you're all right, man. Hey, you're all man. Hey, you're all camera. Hey, you're all right, man. 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 Hey, and you can't ride a car um, for just looking very fake. So now we're about to get on gravel, um, straight from a tart road onto the gravel. Just like that we can get on these roads without issues also the steering is electronically assisted so it turns very quick and it's very light so as you can see i'm just moving it like this the suspension is doing its job um, obviously we can feel the bumps but not in a very uncomfortable manner Gotta love the pairing of this uh, 2 liter bike engine with the 10 speed auto. Let me go here. I'm pretty sure we're leaving dust at the back. Now, a lot can be set up at the new gen Everest. It honestly looks very good. But what impressed me the most was that during my 313 kilometers run trip, I averaged 8 liters to the 100. This is with an average speed of 75, doing speeds from as little as 0 all the way to the speed limit, like 120. And what I mostly love, obviously, is the interior of this car. It honestly looks very good. Yes, you do get the white roof lining, but that's because the car is so dark on the inside and you don't get like a pen roof. So something needs to be white to make sure that you can still see things very clearly. It's also fitted with nice tech. Like you get eight speakers, you get a 400 watt inverter and you get like five USB ports throughout the whole car. The new tailgate, as I've said, is also electronically controlled and you get a reverse camera and all of this for just a price of 965,000 rands with the only optional extras being a service plane that you have to pay separately for and also um, 18 inch alloy wheels but this car is currently fitted with 20 inch alloy rims. 